Hey there, welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph and I am the host of this show. This is a show that is dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So here we are at the Great Prog War, battle number 9, day 10 of January. So the two bands in question in battle today, Super Tramp and Renaissance. For Super Tramp, it's their debut album from 1970. Yep. This is a uh, album I have never heard before. Don't know any of the songs on it. I listened to it for the first time. Um, it's funny, I, at first I found the vocals very different. Uh, even though it was Roger Hodgson singing, and in the case of the few songs that Rick Davies and Palmer, Richard Palmer sang, um, I didn't recognize the voices. But after listening for a while, you can hear it. They're just not as productive like they're the production of the vocals here aren't as good as some of their later albums, but still, still pretty solid. Um, the sound is simpler, but much proggier than the stuff that comes after, well, at least up until um, the 80s after uh, Hodgson left. Then it became very proggy, but uh, before that, um, before the crime of the century, these al this album is quite... Uh, it's quite a little bit different than I'm used to with uh, Super Champ, but I still like it quite a bit. Um, pretty solid album overall, I think. Uh, the two tracks I like the most, Maybe I'm a Beggar and Shirley. I gave them both like a 6 and a 7, but the whole album is kind of passable, I think. Um, definitely an album I want to get. I like the album cover too with the, with the flower, with the face, with the eyes and the nose and the mouth on it. It's like pretty, uh, pretty interesting looking album. Yeah, so uh, pretty, pretty, um, pretty solid instrumentation. Nothing spectacular. No epic guitar solos or epic uh, drumming or epic keyboarding. Just really well orchestrated, well put together tunes that are in a proggy nature, which is a little different for uh, Super Tramp. Now the other album I had, uh, at least at least with the Super Tramp album, I had some familiarities with the band because I have uh, four of their albums and have a, a real big interest in getting uh, another one that they have and that came out in the eighties. Um, but I have no, I have no, um, I've had no experience with this band Renaissance at all. The album that they've given me for the tournament or for the uh, the battle is turn of a card or turn of the card and it's from 1974 so a few years later than the super tramp album uh, a couple things on this album i noticed quite a bit um the uh the overall feel of the album is very symphonic it's a very symphonic i guess aol type of album really uh really clear sounding album for that time period very clear sounding album the vocalist is really good. She has a very smooth, a very um, uh, op almost operatic voice, but no, sorry, no real inflections in her voice. Like just very smooth and powerful and high range. Um, like really a real pleasant voice to listen to. Um, what else about this can I tell you? Uh, yeah, just just a real kind of um, operatic sound to her voice. I think she's kind of the key, the linchpin to this band. She's very dominating vocal-wise, kind of drowns out the other music a bit. And the music, I think, tries to play to her, her symphonic voice. Um, not that the uh, instrumentation isn't bad. There's some really good, solid, epic kind of symphonic stuff going on here. Um, um, what else can I say about it? Um, yeah, the song, the song that I like, the two that I chose, uh, Running Hard, I like that, that's the opening track, very good, has all of the qualities I just said about the album, um, and it's a, it's a pretty, pretty catchy song as well. The other song that I like was Black Flame, I like this actually more, it's, uh, got this kind of, uh, well, it's a love theme, but which isn't always my favorite thing but it suits the group i think uh there's a nice acoustic guitar bit at that goes on throughout the song and it can get quite and the song gets quite heavy but her voice 
no matter how heavy the song is, her voice is punchy. Really, really strong voice. So yeah, so for them, um, for them, I think the vocals are the main thing here. Now, I've never been a huge symphonic AOR type guy. Um, I do appreciate the talent that goes into playing this stuff. It's, and it's very atmospheric and very um, attention demanding. I think this live would be much better than it is album wise. I think the album kind of contains it a bit, which isn't really necessarily good for it. Um, it's probably that the, the, their music is probably much better live as it gets it then it has no no containers and it just is open to everything it's an overall it's a pretty solid album um, from my first experience with them I, I liked it quite a bit but it then it just comes down to which one I liked better so I liked them both I think I'm a little more familiar with Super Tramp the Renaissance was a lot clearer the production was a lot better I think than the Super Tramp album, but I think overall I just I, I was much more familiar with the Super Tramp sound and the progginess of the Super Tramp album was something I liked a little bit better than the uh, overall symphonic sound of the uh, Renaissance. And that's not to say that some symphonic albums I don't like quite a bit, but in this case I think it's just. You know, maybe if I heard this album two or three more times and put the Super Tramp up against it then, it, they might win it. But for today, I think the Super Tramp is going to have to take it to the next round. And Renaissance is going to have to just be an experience that I had. And really, really, I know that some people think that this is all about the battle, but really it isn't. It's all about um, getting to listen to and experiencing albums and groups that you haven't listened to and experienced before and you know sometimes you're going to get the odd album here that you have for me but there may maybe that album you might not have experienced and it's a necessary thing in order to expose you to it so anyways that's what it's all about and for for battle number nine goes to super tramp and then we'll be back with battle number 10 now battle number 10 uh, will be between Genesis and G Gentle Giant. I'm really looking forward to see how this is going to turn out. Yes, it's probably my second favorite band, but Gentle Giant, you cannot, you cannot say enough about their instrumentation. It really has grown to a point where you just can't, you just can't uh, ignore it. Anyways, I hope you like this video, and I hope you will subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. And we'll be back again tomorrow with yet another battle. So have yourself a good night. Goodbye.